Well, y'all, I just came by to see on the off chance if I might see um, John. And you can see what the uh, encampment looks like now. Um, I don't know what's going on over there, but I guess, you know, the police are leaving them alone, it looks like. <sighs> it's so sad. So, so sad. I really can't wait to be able to come back out here and try to meet up with John. If he's still here, he was talking about going to Oregon where his daughter is. Um, but I don't know. I don't have a clue. I should be watching Vanessa's uh, Facebook page. I reached out to her a couple of times to volunteer and give her some donations, but she never called me back either time. The first time I called, I talked to her and she said, let me call you back. And she didn't, so I called her back and I did not get a response. So anyway, I also asked Bread of Life if they needed any help. And um, there's a guy over here throwing things across the little creek there. Um, and he said no. He said now that people are out of work, there's plenty of volunteers everywhere. So that's a good thing. And I am in that vulnerable age group. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, and the reason I am, though, and I, you know, I'm not bragging, but I'm a pretty healthy old chick. Oh, hi. Hi! How are you? I'm good. How are you, sweetie? All right. Uh, I don't know. I, I know you're uh, with me and me around. Uh, Let me get back with y'all, okay? Okay. Uh, 